So the space chain tokens are created when Bitcoins are burned. But when do space chain tokens get burned too? Um, so, so the simplest design, uh, doesn't actually have any, well, they're, they're, yeah, so, so they're, they're two, re- generally speaking, they won't get burned, but there are two reasons why you might burn them. Um, so the first reason is you can have a space chain inside of a space chain. And then in order to get space coins inside of that second space chain, you need to burn space coins on the first, uh, space chain. So that would be one reason to burn these coins. And that's also sort of interesting, right? Because, what that means is that any chain that is created on the on the layer below it will sort of create demand for the layer above it, uh, for the chain above it. Um, so that that that's kind of a faucet, right? Where where space coins exit. And if you have kind of a uh, a way for space coins to gradually disappear out of the system, that could also theoretically help stabilize the price or, or keep it closer to uh, one bitcoin, right? Where uh, so some coins enter the system, but because some coins also exit the system through burning, um, maybe you could create some kind of spi- uh, price equilibrium where you know eventually there are not enough space coins again, and people have to burn bitcoins again, and, and that way you can keep it sort of close to uh, a a uh, you know one to one peg. Again, never guaranteed, uh, but there's some potential there. Uh, but the main way of doing that that's interesting. Um, is, is not by creating another space chain inside of a space chain, but you can actually have a consensus rule inside of a space chain that says with every block, a Bitcoin miner has to burn uh, a certain percentage of all the uh, available space coins. Uh, so that might be like 0.01% or something that comes down to, I think, roughly 10% per year. Um, so you know for a fact that with every block being created, uh, some space coins are exiting the system. Uh, and, and this could kind of create a sort of a, um, price stability, um, where maybe, uh, the, the space coins could sort of stay closer to, uh, to the Bitcoin value. Um, so that's kind of an interesting thing to do. Uh, but I think, like, again, this is very hard to predict. Uh, but I think this would only be practical in a scenario where you create a space chain that is meant for low value Bitcoin payments. So still, you don't expect anyone to store their value there, but people sort of use it as a way to, I don't know, do their day-to-day groceries or something. Um, and you know that uh, these, you know, there's there's sort of a cost to it because the the space coins uh, also get destroyed. Uh, but because you're using it not as a store of value, but as a, a medium of exchange primarily, you're sort of willing to make that trade off. 